Hello, hello guys, it's me and I come to you with a very short yet simple tutorial. Um, we all know that Valentine's Day is tomorrow, so I miraculously was able to film this before Valentine's Day. I didn't think I was going to be able to. Um, I've been extremely busy. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do a simple uh, rose gold type of look. It's something that's very soft and romantic in my opinion and it is the most simplest thing um, just to put together on your face and head out. I'm already wearing foundation. I've already done my eyebrows and I have primed my eyes and just for your information if you want to know the foundation that I am using is from Laura Mercer. This is the Laura Mercer Candle Glow Soft Luminous Foundation. This is actually a sample that I'm using. Um, I have not purchased this. I got a sample with a purchase at Sephora, but I am really, really liking this foundation. So if I do decide to get the full size, um, I will do a review on this foundation. Um, for concealer, because I did wake up not too long ago um, and my eyes are kind of puffy, for the concealer, I am using the e.l.f. Maximum Coverage Concealer, and this I believe is in the color light, and that is what I'm using for my concealer. Now for primer, I'm using from Bare Minerals, and I use this religiously. This is the Bare Minerals 5-in-1 uh, BB Advanced Performance Cream Eyeshadow. You can use it as an eyeshadow, or you can use it as a primer. I mostly use it as a primer. I absolutely love this stuff. And for my brows, because this is a very soft look, I didn't want to draw any brows in or put a bow, you know, make them so bold. I just wanted to keep it soft and natural. So I just used a brow tint and this is from Queen uh, Elizabeth Mott, Queen of the Fill, and this is how it looks like. This is the eyebrow tint that I'm using, and this is in the color light to medium. Now the palettes that I'm going to be using today, I'm going to keep it simple. It's just two palettes, and just to uh, start off with my base and transitional colors, I will be using the Carly Bible palette. For those of you who no one do not know I love this palette as you can see some of the colors are already going but these are like the perfect neutrals and then uh, for the goldish or the rose gold color I'm going to be using this Orfra limited edition eyeshadow palette I don't know if you will find this I do not think that it's on uh, the uh, Orfra site this was a limited edition palette on Ipsy, so it was only limited to uh, customers who are Ipsy subscribers. So you may find it on eBay or Amazon, probably. If I happen to find a link somewhere of this palette, I will link it below in this video. Um, yeah, so that's about it. So if you want to see how the final look is, keep watching. So for the corner of my eye, I'm going to be mixing these two colors, which is this color right here, which is kind of like a dark mauve rose, and I'm going to be using this hot pink up here. I'm going to mix them together so that they get the paralyzed look, such as this 
uh, gold rose because this is a matte color so I want it all to have the par that uh, paralyzed look so that's what I'm going to be doing here. Okay, I'm going to try and do my little cat eye, which I can never do on camera. <laughs> Let's see how good I did it. Yeah, it's actually not too hard. Your next eye. So this is your next eye. I'm going to do your nice little cat line. Alrighty, so after that you're going to put on your favorite mascara, you're going to put on your blush, your powder. Um, for my lips, I'm keeping it very soft. This is from MAC and this is in the color Brave. I'm going to put this on, which is something that is a nice light color. As you can see, and then I'm actually going to top it off with this gloss here. This is from Burt's Bees. And this is in the color Spring Splendor. And I'm going to put this on top. Like so. And there you have it, guys. This is a very simple Valentine's Day look or anytime look, date night look, go out look, hang out look, anytime look. Um, something very simple. Um, if you want to line your eyes, you definitely can line your eyes. That is optional. I chose not to uh, draw on the waterline. Um, I just preferred it this way, so I just kept it with the simple cat eye. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look, and I hope that you guys have a great Valentine's Day. Enjoy yourselves. Be safe, and I will be here again very, very soon. <laughs> Adios.